So you want to separate faces into different objects. Hey guys, welcome back to Spike Guy. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again, taking a look at how to separate different faces or vertices or edges into different objects in Blender 2.8. Uh, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna delete default cube. Bye bye default cube. And we will hit Shift A on our keyboard to go to mesh plane. We'll add in a plane for this tutorial. Uh, RX 90 on my numpad to rotate 90 degrees. S to scale up our plane. We can hit Tab to go into edit mode. I'm gonna actually delete our lamp and our camera as well. Uh, we can hit Tab to go into edit mode on our plane. You can see we have this giant face here. We're gonna go to edge and subdivide this a couple of times just so we have a couple of things to work with here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Now, if we go and select each individual face here, you can see that they're all, you know, they're all connected, obviously, because they're all a part of this, you know, this big plane that we can move all together, which is not what we want. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, go back into edit mode, select everything by double tapping A on our keyboard. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go to edge, edge split. And now if you can see we can go ahead and move each one of these faces individually, which is exactly what we need. But if we go out of edit mode, and hit G to move our plane. You can see they all move together still because this is still all one object. This just now the faces are separate. Um, so the way we can fix this is by going ahead and double tapping A once again, hitting P on our keyboard to go ahead and open up this separate menu and we can go separate separate by loose parts. And we can hit that. And then once we hit that, now out of edit mode, we can go ahead and move each individual object by themselves. But you can see the origin. The origin is that orange little dot down there. You can see it's way down there. That's not what we need because when we rotate, it's going to rotate still on that axis. So if we hit B to box select everything, drag a box over top of all of our little squares, we can go up to object, set origin, and go to origin to geometry. And now each origin is exactly where it's supposed to be, so we can rotate them and move them around where they're supposed to go, which is just perfect. I hope this tutorial helped you out today, guys. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.